Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all earth signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We've got the page of wands, the devil, uh, we have the three of uh, wands, and we have the five of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Capricorn. Um, so this spread could be just for Capricorn, but I think this is uh, just in general. It could work for any one of you lovely earth signs. Um, uh, so somebody is going to be uh, reaching out to the other person. We've got the uh, page of ones. This is a card of uh, passionate. Could be lusty <laughs> message. Um, could be an email, uh, direct message. Uh, text message, email, whatever it is, or if you run into this person, you'll start flirting with them. And all of that because uh, you feel this unnatural pull towards this person. Keep in mind, it could be the other way around. This is, this, it could be happening to you. Somebody feels like they're chained to you and uh, they can't get you out of their head. And they're going to message you, they're going to let you know. <laughs> and uh, we also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a regret. So it could be an ex or somebody could be regretting that they missed some kind of an opportunity with you. And uh, they finally pull themselves back together and find strength to uh, let you know. Right? And uh, the Three of Wands here, this is most likely you trying to make a decision whether you want to um, allow this person back into your life but uh, for me the three of wands is uh, a card of when a decision has already been made and something is starting to actively unfolding here right um, this if you decide to make a decision or if you make a decision in regards to this person you could uh, play hard to get or you're not gonna let them know right away that's what I'm feeling here but uh, you will make a decision or it could be happening to you like I said the other way around so no matter what happens here um, expect a message because somebody feels um, somebody misses you and somebody feels like uh, they can't get you out of their head and uh, you will have to make a decision in regards to this person Taurus, uh, we have the star, the nine of cups, and the four of wands. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I only have two words for you, Taurus. Wish granted. <laughs> well, let's take a closer look anyway. So we have the star and the nine of cups. Both cards are all about uh, wishes being granted. Right? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but that still doesn't change the fact that some kind of a something is coming into fruition. Something you've been wishing for is finally here and we have the four of ones here as well this is a card of um, um, very stable and happy relationship or a partnership because this spread could be all about uh, love or it could be all about work or finances right because the four of ones is a partnership card um, a relationship card uh, some people call the uh, four of ones the 11 11 card so it could be divine timing so uh, perhaps the timing was not right for this wish of yours to come through, but uh, it finally is. Uh, that over this weekend, this is going to be happening. So prepare yourself. Whatever you've been wishing for is uh, going to be arriving on your doorstep over the weekend. Virgo, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Oh wow, Virgo. Um, hmm. You know what guys, I'm going to read it backwards from right to left. We have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, I think uh, this is going to be the focal point of this uh, spread and everything is revolving around that. So Three of Swords is all about uh, breakups, it's all about heartbreaks and all about devastation. Right, so something happened to you in the past. I don't know how far back in the past, but it most likely uh, this is most likely a recent past. So somebody broke your heart. Somebody uh, 
cheated on you or somebody did something wrong, something uh, deceptive, somebody could have told you something and that broke your heart and the two of you parted ways. The Seven of Swords here, that's the card I was just talking about. Uh, this is a card of a deception, some, a liar or a cheater. Right, so uh, you could have found out about it and that broke your heart. And um, you've been really regretting what happened between the two of you in the past, perhaps you've been um, hitting yourself in the head thinking how could you ever even get together with this person because this person turned out to be such an asshole, right? Um, but what we do here in the beginning is the Ace of Pentacles and uh, like I said I'm reading the spread right to left. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity so uh, perhaps this person is coming back around with this uh, amazing brand new uh, offer, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity offer. Um, you know what well, guys, as I always say, uh, if somebody screwed you over in the past, most likely they'll screw you over again. And uh, the Seven of Swords here is just a confirmation for me that this person did something really bad and uh, if you decide to let this person back into your life most likely it'll the cycle will repeat itself. The, I don't see a card here uh, symbolizing a cycle but I don't need to see that card. You know, So be very careful if uh, if you think that this person has not changed, if you think that uh, or if you know that they devastated you in the past, if I were you, I would uh, reject this offer. Yes, this looks amazing. This is a great offer, but uh, it only looks good on the surface. Most likely, the cycle, like I said, will repeat itself. So be very careful. Capricorn. We have the World, the Four of uh, Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We also have the King of Swords and the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Well, something is coming to an end over the weekend. Most likely between you and this King of Swords, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. Uh, this is most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this person is very direct, very straightforward, could be cold as ice. <laughs> we have three cards symbolizing an end here. Um, the world, the Ten of Swords, and the Tower. And the Tower most likely symbolizes something that happens unexpectedly. So if you are dealing with this King of Swords, it could be about love, or it could be about finances, work, partnership, it's coming to an end over the weekend. Um, and I think that's you in the Four of Swords, just uh, taking some time off to uh, contemplate what the heck just happened and uh, you will need some time to heal and I think you're starting to heal over the weekend. Um, I'm sorry to bring you some these bad news but uh, you know I gotta say what I see and I never sugarcoat anything what I see. Um, so um, you'll be fine Capricorn you know uh, move on. We're in each other's lives to make each other happy. If uh, they're not making you happy, then perhaps it's good that this uh, is coming to an end between you and this person. Because the world card, uh, it's the major arcana, the first card on the left, this is a happy end. So I think you will only benefit from um, this person leaving your life. Um, so um, yeah, move on Capricorn, you have, you have the strength to move on, I believe in you. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.